Hi, it's Larry here with Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm here with Dan Greenwald, who's the creative director for Forza Motorsport. Dan, we're here to talk about one of the most exciting features of Xbox One, and this is the concept of the impulse triggers. Before we get started, though, how would you describe it? Well, haptics, which is the study of how your hands actually interact with these digital worlds, that feedback, it's something we're really interested in at Forza Motorsport. We found that we can make players better using Rumble. So we've had Rumble, obviously, for a long time. These new impulse triggers are putting Rumble in each one of your hands under your fingers. So you're getting impulses in the actual trigger itself. And that gives us a way to give people feedback they've never had before. It's more like audio, and it's very subtle. But you've also got the rumble motors in here, but this is adding another layer on them, right? Absolutely, so there's chassis rumble. Mm -hmm. The chassis of the controller still rumbles, mm -hmm. and it has weaker forces, buzzing forces, rumbling and wobbling, and all those different things you're used to, but now you get trigger forces. Mm -hmm. And we can blend those as designers. This is what's so great. We can give a feedback that's it's almost three-dimensional, where you can really take in the car in your hands. Now, it's subtle, of course. If, if you notice rumble when you're playing, you've got too much. Mm -hmm. You really want it to just subtly affect how you play, make you better. Yeah. Now, you, you know, you're in a unique position because you're able to work with the platform team as they were coming up with the idea. Tell me about the first time you and your team heard about it and did, you were like, wow, this is kind of cool. Well, actually, we were on the ground floor with mm -hmm. the Xbox team at the very beginning of Xbox One, and they were looking for what sort of improvements would be useful in the controller. Now, again, our team is very focused on haptics because we found we can make players better. We can actually get them better at our game by subtly training them with the haptics. Mm -hmm. So we thought this would be incredible if we could simulate what happens when you're overdriving the car with the accelerator, you're burning out, and really teach people that, oh, you're right on the threshold. And same with braking. You can feel the ABS, or you can feel the tire starting to lock up when you're braking. Giving those forces complete independence so that you can feel them independently in each hand, that would really help people get better. Well, certainly it makes a lot of sense because for those of us who have driven, when you're driving, you know, most times you get direct feedback from the, mm. from the road in your car, depending on how finely tuned your car is. So this makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, for driving games? It does. You know, when you're in your car, you're getting feedback from all of your senses, including feeling the Gs in your butt. Mm -hmm. When you're driving with a controller, we found that most players, when they're not really familiar with a racing game, they can be very digital. Mm -hmm. Steering, full steer, full steer, full excel, full brake. Now, you wouldn't want to do that in a real car. Right. You're going to kind of kill yourself. Right. Well, we can train them through audio and we can train them through haptics to be a little bit more analog. That means use more of that throw. Mm -hmm. And we train them by actually not just changing the game, but changing what they feel in their hand. You know, I was playing a demo earlier, and sometimes it's, it's very strong and sometimes it's very subtle. So you guys can dial it up or down accordingly, right? And it's completely physically based. You're absolutely right. So we dial it up when you're really into the, beyond the threshold of the tires. And it happens automatically. That's the nice thing about having a great physics engine, is that when the tires are beyond their peak, mm -hmm. we know exactly how far beyond their peak are, and we can dial up or down the rumble based on that. Well, I've heard enough. I want to get behind the wheel and check it out. Let's do it. All right.